Welcome back to the Means Report. We appreciate you staying with us, and we are grateful to Bob Pettit. You know, this is a busy time of year for Mr. Pettit. He's about to get sworn in as mayor. His town is just absolutely growing by leaps and bounds, but he's taken a moment to stop by the Means Report and discuss all of that with us. And so we were talking about all things North Augusta in segment one. I wanted to kick off this segment, uh, Mayor elect Pettit, by talking about the Greenway and the extension of it. People love the Greenway. People from both sides of the river use it all the time. Your thoughts on the future for the Greenway? Well, that certainly is a highlight of North Augusta. Yeah. And one of the premises of Project Jackson is that it's going to increase and help renovate our downtown. And the plan is to extend the Greenway from the riverfront up into the downtown area, and that will help. Uh, hopefully rejuvenate it and, and encourage small shops, different restaurants, and provide a place for people to uh, sit down and uh, relax and, and help commercially with our downtown. The difficulty is, you know, it hasn't been a lot of development. They've talked about it a long time. Yeah. Uh, the city staff is looking at the plan to extend it to downtown, and uh, I'm not exactly sure when that's going to be coming out for open discussion. But it's something that we want to do. You know, when I think of the Greenway, I think of people trying to keep themselves in shape. I think of recreational activities. What is North Augusta? Is it an old folks town, a young folks town, an everybody town? And, and if so, why? You know, I picture the Greenway. I picture uh, folks riding their bicycles, running, jogging, and that kind of skews toward the younger demographic. But uh, talk about whether the town offers something for everyone. Well, it does offer something for everyone, and the Greenway is used by people of all ages and interests. It's, it's a focal point, and with Project Jackson, we're hoping to bring in some of the younger people to it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have old established neighborhoods uh, in Hammond Hills and those type of neighborhoods, plus we're getting new neighborhoods up north of I-20. Uh, my even my daughter lives up there and it, it's it's focused on young people but also retirees so if you want something in north augusta i think we have the facilities to take care of it riverview park has a walking park they start early in the morning with senior citizens uh, people my age walking on the park getting their exercise mm -hmm. and then during the day you have basketball leagues and then at night you have all kinds of rec recreational activity for the children so you talk about it we've got we got it covered what's the difference politically between North Augusta and Augusta? In my opinion, big difference is North Augusta has all of its, the mayor and the six councilmen elected at large, so, and Augusta has councilmen elected by district, mm -hmm. and so there's a certain parochialness, I would assume, in, in Augusta that we don't have in North Augusta. People look at it for what benefits all of North Augusta. And I've had some concern over people talking about to me about, well, many of your councilmen and, and I live down in the central part of North Augusta. How do we get interest, you know, in the newer neighborhoods that are developing up north? Well, I would encourage people to take advantage of the opportunity to uh, run for council, but to know, be assured that we're looking out for their best interests as well as any other best interests in town. Any advice to get rid of that uh, parochial approach? Any advice to, to get local leaders not just Augusta, but anywhere, to look beyond their communities, their neighborhoods, and help an entire town like North Augusta's been doing? How do you, how do you overcome it? That's a good question. I mean, it's uh, tough. Wh what I envision is the citizens creating a vision mm -hmm. for North Augusta, what it wants to be. I've said that if you don't know where you're going, how do you know if you're going to get, when you get there? Somebody else told me the other night, if you don't know where you're going, how do you know what road to take? So. We, we need to figure out what it is we want as a community, as a city. And then we develop programs and initiatives to complement that vision and what the people want. Are you the anti-Augusta? And um, whether you are or you're not, being the anti-Augusta may be to your benefit. How do you see that for North Augusta? People, people flock there if they're not happy here. I, I, I would not ever think of me and I would think not the city as being anti-Augusta. I mean, we're separated by a river. Uh, we have bridges across, and so we have to cooperate, in my opinion. We're not uh, fighting one another. We're working to better the entire metropolitan area. That's what it's about. You know, we get a lot of 
people coming to North Augusta to shop now from Augusta. Uh, they enjoy our restaurants. They enjoy some of our big stores. Uh, you know, so it's a cooperative thing. We unfortunately go there for restaurants, <laughs> chain restaurants, which is a, something people so, in North Augusta want a lot of, and we haven't yet been successful getting them. Well, you do have some great restaurants in North Augusta. You know, I facetiously said when we went to break that North Augusta stole the stadium from Augusta. <laughs> do you see that as a big win for North Augusta and a big loss for Augusta, that y'all got that deal and Augusta didn't? Well, I, if I remember right, Augusta had a chance uh, decided they didn't want to and I think it's a win for North Augusta because we're going to get a cohesive development on our riverfront mm -hmm. which is going to be a destination so it's more than just the ballpark and the ball stadium it's about the development that's going to be around that ballpark uh, you know the ballpark is going to have the concourse open all day so people can go in and walk around the concourse there's going to be a restaurant, a beer garden in right field. It's patterned after uh, the Giants Stadium with, you know, hopefully somebody will hit a ball home run into the river. It uh, is. So it's, it's fascinating. Well, and in all fairness to Augusta, as the ultimate optimist, former Mayor Dee Copenhaver continues to say, everyone's going to benefit, right? right? Both sides of the river, don't you think? Absolutely. It's, you know, downtown Augusta is rejuvenating itself the restaurants you know it's almost like Yogi Berra said nobody goes there anymore at night because it's too crowded <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't find a parking place if you want to go to a restaurant uh, in the evening so you know it's, it's a give and take there we're, we're, we're helped by them that we're going to help them as well so it's it's a positive I, I agree with you there uh, it is something that is making both sides of the river boom you are seeing a beautiful thing happen in downtown Augusta and in North Augusta Probably my last question. I received, I think, the ultimate compliment for North Augusta. A man from Greenville came down, a relative of my wife's, and said how blown away he was by North Augusta and how much that town had it on the ball from someone from Greenville. Do you see yourselves in the future being like or even equal to Greenville, South Carolina? What a great town that is. It is a great town, and I think if we can get our downtown uh, going Georgia Avenue a little bit under control from a traffic standpoint, S expand uh, into the alleyways which are behind West Avenue and East uh, Avenue, uh, Project Jackson, uh, Exit 5, Exit 1, the new residential developments, uh, renovation of our existing shopping centers. It's happening and we're going to get there. I'm convinced of it. Our comprehensive plan, the citizens are behind it and we're ready to go. Well, it is certainly fun to watch here from the sidelines and uh, to cover it. Mayor-elect Bob Pettit, congratulations on your win and, and best of luck uh, as mayor. Thank you. Absolutely. North Augusta Mayor Bob Pettit, a student of the game for so long, now he is running the show there on South Carolina's riverfront.